Hi, everyone. Welcome again. Um, ladies and gents, just in case uh, the live storm platform we are using for the webinar uh, lags sometimes in case you experience any issues. It's not a, it's a platform connection issue. It's not a dual box issue. All right, everyone, let's, uh, let's jump right into it. We're going to get started with the, with the race game, which is one of our most popular icebreaker games. Here we go, it's loading up. It's waiting for all the participants to join. Okay, as you can see, lots of, lots, lots of different characters over there. Let's give everybody a chance to line up and then we'll get started with the race. As I said, this is a, a fun game. It, uh, it always puts a smile on everybody's face. Gets the action started. And we're off. And it's fast as fingers first. Uh, oh, everybody seems to be off to a flying start over there. And uh, Jimmy seems to be taking the lead. I think he's going to smash this one. Looks like he's killing everybody else. Well done, Jimmy. Back to the run. We'll just wait for everybody to finish up there. Yep. Jimmy and Jacqueline. Well done. Thanks again, everyone, for joining our webinar tonight. Um, we know your time is valuable, and, and we appreciate your interest in learning a little bit more about uh, gamification. In this day and age, we all know that meetings, conferences, corporate events can sometimes well be a little on the boring side. Uh, speakers droning on and on, audiences half asleep in their chairs, the clock ticking slower, slower, and slower. Instead of setting to another snooze first, it is time to change the game. All right, so I hope everybody enjoyed our little warm-up game. Uh, I'm Ray, I'm the head of uh, sales and business development for North America. Uh, please add any questions that you have and vote on those questions in the questions tab on the right-hand side. We'll have a quick question and answer session at the end. Uh, Robert, my colleague, will be joining uh, me for the, the questions and answers and he can help with any more technical or gamification questions. We will be using uh, dual boxes games throughout the webinar to showcase the, the benefits of gamifying your corporate, social, and training events. We're gonna get started with a little poll to give you a little more information on, uh, to give us a little more information on your business and how best to incorporate gamification. So this game is all about uh, giving us an idea as to what kind of uh, events you you hold and um, and then where uh, gamification would fit into it. So you can imagine if uh, if this was being played with you know a hundred, a thousand, ten thousand uh, players entering their schools or their their answers all the time, um, and that wheel moving around and it just creates some excitement. Um, it's it's good stuff. Uh, it's looking like. Um, a tight race, but this is, these appear to be the most common uses we have for games at events. But the truth is that um, there's an endless number of uses for the games, and, and uh, the games can be used to spice up all of your events. We've also organized a scavenger hunt to demonstrate how games can be used to keep focus and maintain attention during a presentation. Throughout the presentation, there will be four digit codes hidden in plain sight. As we go, when you see them, enter them on your phone and answer the simple question. We will announce the winners at the end. Don't forget to keep an eye out for all of the four digit codes and enter them as soon as you see them. All right, since everyone is ready to roll, let's dive in and get the show on the road. Dualbox was originally developed as an in-house tool for the event industry. After developing it, we found that there was a real need for integrating games into events. Realizing this, we decided to develop it further as a standalone business. 
we at Dualbox are hyper-focused on gamification. It's all that we do, and we do it extremely well. Dualbox has been around since 2017. I'm not giving anything away, but that could be the first four-digit code you need to be entering on your phone. So with our roots in the event industry, we understand clearly that there is a problem. It's hard to maintain energy and attention to virtual, in-person, or hybrid events. Especially hybrid events so popular as a result of COVID, where Zoom fatigue is becoming a real problem. Games are a fun and exciting solution to this problem. Everyone loves playing games. At the, we are all just kids at heart. Some of us bigger kids than others. We're going to give you a chance to try out a versus game. You'll see that it's really just a poll at heart, but we've managed to gamify it and make it a simple binary question into a fun game. This is the basic version of our game without any customization. You can see there's a simple yes, no, left, right, A, B, Democrat, Republican poll. Clearly, this is a lot more and, uh, fun and engaging than your average poll. We've also got, uh, this is endless, there are versions of this with endless customization and visual effects to make it more exciting. As you can see, this works from basic to extreme and everything in between. What's great about these games is the opportunity to customize. Games are step one to increasing engagement at your event. But they also provide you with an opportunity to deliver more messaging in a subtle and non-salesy way. The best way to take advantage of your audience's focus on the games is to customize them with your personal branding and messaging. Instead of a cat and a dog in the living room, building a game to have your logo and something relevant to your industry is a crucial step in gamifying your event. You do not want to lose an opportunity to reinforce your message. The Versus game is used to elevate simple questions and create a battle between individuals or teams. And of course, no characters were harmed in the making of this game. That's the standard disclosure nowadays. So I'm going to take you through a, um, some different event situations and how to improve them through gamification. The beginning of your event is a huge opportunity to set the tone for the day or the weekend. Create energy from the start of your event using a fast-paced game to grab everyone's attention and get your event started off on the best possible way. Using icebreaker games gets everyone focused, puts a smile on their face, and gets the show on the road. Think about the race game at the beginning of the show. Sometimes it's all just about a little fun. I'm thinking office parties, Christmas parties, or just lightening the mood before getting down to the serious business. Imagine this. You've got a speaker doing a presentation and you want to encourage active listening. You can gamify this presentation by trivia questions on the content. After or during the presentation, trivia games are a perfect way to make sure your message has been received and more importantly, that it has been completely understood. Companies use these kinds of games to train their teams and make sure the knowledge is received and most importantly, that it has been absorbed. For example, we, we have used cases with pharma companies introducing new products with lots of details. They're able to test and verify their sales teams are ready to hit the streets and sell, comfortable in the knowledge that they understand the product. Using games and keeping score makes this a fun chore rather than the good old boar. Why do we or our clients exhibit at events? We all want to leave with new prospects and leads to work on. At the end of the day, this is what we are actually there for. In your booth, set up two iPads at your stand and invite attendees to battle each other. Grabbing and holding their attention makes people much more likely to start a conversation with each other, giving you or them an opportunity to engage and beginning to develop a relationship. Using games like prize wheels and conqueror challenges with giveaways for winners with draw attention to a booth and create some buzz. 
don't let break time become breakdown time. Events can be long and everyone needs a break. However, this is often a time when people wander off and you lose their attention. Rather use this time to play a high octane, fun and fast game. The results, the energy in the room is boosted, people are refreshed and ready to go for the next segment. It's hard to emphasize how some games can be used to keep everyone on point. Value from the trade show is all about foot traffic. How can you encourage more visitors to your booth? How about a scavenger hunt that drives people to your stand? If you want to move people around your event to ensure more visits, this is the perfect tool. Place or hide clues around the venue using QR codes and reward attendees for completing the hunt and visiting the booths you are promoting. Clients often use branded merchandise as prizes, maximizing brand exposure. And let's face it, we all want a little free stuff. So what can games do for you? Enter the code and find out. Whatever your purpose, the number one thing that brings that games do is bring people together, start conversations and add some fun. Using games to build stronger teams, open communication, get people thinking, think, get people thinking aligned and breaks down barriers. Games have the power to ratchet up energy in a room and liven up your audience. Get the party started with one of the fun and exciting icebreaker games. Keep boosting the energy throughout the event with different activities to keep up the excitement. A lot of time, energy, money is spent on your events with one goal, get your message across. Gamification is a fun and interactive and effective way to ensure your message is delivered from beginning to end. Customize and brand your games to keep your product on everyone's mind and create unforgettable memories. And sometimes a little chat around the water cooler after. So speaking of a little trivia, to test your audience's knowledge, we're gonna have a quiz of our own before getting to the Q&A. Don't forget to keep looking out for those four digit numbers. So here are some questions that uh, about the presentation and also some fun questions. So as you can see, Toolbox can be used to boost the energy, make instant connections, and educate the audience about your brand. Here's a fun question. What is xenophobia? This is one that I did not know, but I do know now. Fear of rainbows, fear of sunrise, fear of dogs, or the fear of bats? So as you can see, it's C, the fear of bats, and not too many people got it right. And that seems to be the same every time we run this game. So now picture the leaderboard on a big screen as the winners are revealed. At the end of your gamified event, don't let all those games be for nothing. A leaderboard brings closure, reminds everyone of the fun that they had throughout the day, and makes sure people are talking about you and your games after they've left. Make sure to celebrate the, the, the winners and feel the energy in the room. Let's get cracking with the question and answers. Let's take a look at the questions that uh, we've already got in the chat. Let me see what we've already got in the chat. Uh, Tristan, uh, do you have an app? Uh, Tristan, we are, we are proud that we actually don't have an app and, and that we don't need an app. Um, as you saw, our games, you, all you have to do is just um, with your smart device scan the, the QR code and, and it loads from a URL. So you don't have to download anything and, and, uh, and it's, it's quick and easy. Uh, let's see here. Jimmy, what is your favorite game? My personal favorite game is the Conqueror game. Um, the, the standard one is, is uh, a game with the world map and you answer questions, you battle with the, with the person, you answer questions, and uh, whoever wins, wins the continents, and the goal is to take over and conquer the world. And the, the nice thing about that is you can, um, 
you can uh, brand the, the, the background and change uh, the images. And if it's a, a farmer company, uh, you can put medication and questions about it or parts of the body and, and things like that. So it's, it's a very versatile game, but it's, it's a nice jewel for, for, to have at your booth. Uh, James is Jewelbox attended for in-person events. So uh, Jewelbox can be used for in-person events, hybrid events, and uh, virtual events. Also works on, uh, on most of the other platforms and video conferencing, uh, like Zoom and Teams and things like that. It can run in those platforms as well. Uh, what does Jewelbox provide for events? So James, we, uh, we provide the platform um, and uh, and the technology, but we we don't um, we don't do any of the MC work ourselves. We help you guys uh, set up the events. So we we help train you uh, to manage them. But it's a pretty simple dashboard and interface. And and once you've learned it, you can set up and manage the games on your own. Uh, let me see here, uh, Tristan. Uh, do you offer free trials? Yes. So. Um, Tristan, we do. We offer 14-day free trials. Uh, if you if you register and you just send through your email address, we'll actually activate it as a, a full-featured 14-day trial and let you try everything out, uh, all of the games out with all of the features for a limited period. Let me see if there's any other questions. No, I don't have any other questions. I'll give it a moment longer. Okay. Okay. So I don't think we've got any additional questions. So uh, guys, uh, ladies and gents, thank you so much for joining us and taking the time to learn about uh, gamification's place in the event universe. After the event uh, today, we'll be in contact, set up a short introduction call to chat about your needs and how we can assist in accomplishing them. We're going to close with one of our favorite games, the spin wheel. As I mentioned, this is a great game for trade show booths, but it can also be used as a reward. Today, we've customized ours to give you your fortune. If you don't like your, uh, your first fortune, feel free to spin again. Good luck, and thank you for joining us.